الفاتي على حضرة النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العلي من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العلي من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العلي من الشيطان الرجيم لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسمح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلقه أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلقه أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلقه بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله تحصلنا بالله بسم الله توكلنا بالله بسم الله تحصلنا بالله بسم الله توكلنا بالله بسم الله تحصلنا بالله بسم الله توكلنا بالله بسم الله آمنا بالله وما يؤمن بالله لا خوف عليه بسم الله آمنا بالله وما يؤمن بالله لا خوف عليه بسم الله آمنا بالله وما يؤمن بالله لا خوف عليه سبحان الله عز الله سبحان الله جل الله سبحان الله عز الله سبحان الله جل الله سبحان الله عز الله سبحان الله جل الله 
سبحان الله و بحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله و بحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله و بحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه أوتف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه أوتف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلق يا عليما بخلق يا خبيرا بخلق أوتف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيف لم يزل أوتف بنا فيما نزل إنك لطيف لم تزل أوتف بنا والمسلمين يا لطيف لم يزل أوتف بنا فيما نزل إنك لطيف لم تزل أوتف بنا والمسلمين يا لطيف لم يزل أوتف بنا فيما نزل إنك لطيف لم تزل أوتف بنا والمسلمين لا إله إلا الله 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 سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل 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 اللهم صل على محمد اللهم صل عليه وسلم 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 
Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad ya Rabbi salli ala wa sallim Astaghfirullah 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 Ta'ibuna ila Allah Ta'ibuna ila Allah Ta'ibuna ila Allah Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah biha, Ya Kareem, Ya Allah Ya Allah bi husnil khatima Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah biha, Ya Kareem, Ya Allah Ya Allah bi husnil khatima Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah biha, Ya Kareem, Ya Allah Ya Allah bi husnil khatima غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نصينا أو أخطعنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعاف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين آمين ربنا ولك الحمد الفاتحة إلى حضرة النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and to the spirits of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and to his family and to his companions and to all of the righteous and to our ancestors, to Adam and Eve and to our children and to the children of our children to the day of judgment and to our teachers and the teachers of our teachers and our imams and our mashayikh and to those who have rights upon us and rights upon them. Oh Allah, we ask that you have mercy on them, that you raise their rank in paradise, Ya Allah, and that you benefit us, Ya Allah, through their lights and their secrets, through their blessings and their gifts and their knowledges in our religion, in our faith, in our worldly affairs, in our hereafter. Al-Fatiha. Bismillah. Bismillah. Amen. 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 Just take a moment. Uh, if your eyes were closed, keep them closed. You don't have to close your eyes. But if they were closed, just keep them closed. And be still. Just reflect on the dhikr that we just said. Be aware of Allah's gaze upon you. Be aware that Allah is looking upon you. at all times.
Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah, there is a, um, this week, uh, I forget the date, uh, Muslim Life of Princeton with Imam Sayyid Sultan is having uh, a, a maulid online and Sheikh Hamza Yusuf is going to be speaking, alhamdulillah. And so I encourage you all, go to the Muslim Life at Princeton website. And then also, I think it's November 5th, inshallah, two days after the election, uh, they're having another maulid uh, with Sheikh Muhammad Aninawi, alhamdulillah. So uh, go to their website, inshallah, it should be very, very beneficial, very beneficial. Sheikh Anina, we uh, used to tell us when I was in Atlanta, I, I spent eight years uh, with him, studying with him in Atlanta, and he used to tell us, uh, you know, we would meet at the masjid like this, and we would he would teach a class on, uh, you know, aqida or hadith, and after it we would do th some dhikr and some muraqaba like we just did, and he would always tell us that the purpose of dhikr is to be with Allah. And you're always, Allah is always with you, but we're not always with Allah. <laughs> Allah is always with you. Huwa ma'akum aina ma kuntum. Allah says in the Quran, He is with you wherever you are. Allah is always with you, but we're not always with Allah. And so one of the benefits of dhikr and the purposes of objectives of dhikr is to be with Allah. And to be aware. To be aware. How to be in muraqaba of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah. So with that, inshallah ta'ala, uh, and what you're feeling right now, the, the peace you're feeling right now, this sakina, the, this rahmah you're feeling right now, the person who's in dhikr, it feels this all the time. Even when they're at work, even when they're busy, even when not going the way you want them to go, if you're in dhikr of Allah ta'ala, there's a certain calm. There's a certain tuma'nina. Allah calls it in the Quran, tuma'nina. Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul qulub. Indeed, it is through the remembrance of Allah that hearts become serene. So there's a serenity. And so may Allah Ta'ala always give us this serenity yeah, through the ups and downs of life. Alhamdulillah. So with that, inshallah, Brother Mahdi. Yeah. So we're reading from the Lubu Lubab al Masnavi. Uh, it's in the group. I've, we sent it to the WhatsApp group. You can read from the Farsi or you can read from the English, inshallah. We'll be just doing it the same way that we usually do it. Bismillah. And if you're following uh, from the original Mesnavi, we're in book five, verse 3367. Uh, in the Eng you want the, the Farsi or the English? What page did you say, Brother Matt? 30, page 30 in the English. In the English PDF, page 30. Okay, Bismillah. Basically, the last set of couplets for um, this first rivulet. So, so, until now, we've been reading Source 1, River 1, uh, Rivulet 1. And uh, I guess before I get started, there was uh, just want to kind of jog everybody's memory, um, or maybe those who are here the last two weeks of, of, of what it was. This whole first rivulet, all of these uh, uh, couplets that we've been reading, they all have they all have a similar theme. Basically, that is, if if you have if you have reached the true level of iman that uh, as described, uh, where you have true outwardly and inwardly iman, um, 
you know, theft and spirituality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have it all. You have the full package. Then, then the, the, those who don't believe they're going to yearn, they're going to be in of, of, of what you have. And, and if, if all you have is, is that outward need to mention the but, but the inward need is missing, mm. then, uh, it's going to be the opposite. You're, you're going to turn it something, even though maybe on the outside you're doing, you're doing the exact same thing. So, so this next story, um, it's, it's, it's one of these ones that Imam Mendez describes as, uh, verses that Molana, uh, tells us that, that makes you laugh. But this one, it actually kind of makes you cry at the same time because it's a reflection of, <laughs> of, of what's going on today yeah, in, in our own mind. Yeah, so, so I'll go ahead and get started. And then like last week, maybe I'll do um, uh, two couplets. Okay, so. Yek mu'azzin daash baas awaaz abad dar miyan kaafistan baand zad. بس که گفتندش مگو بانگ نماز که شود جنگ و اداوت ها دراز کان احد المؤذنین ذا صوت شدید القبح و قام بالعذان فی دار الكفر قالوا له و کرروا القول لا تؤذن فقد تتشبه الحرب ويطول العدا انت هبا سيدنا مؤذن had a very harsh voice he called the muslims to prayer in the land of infidels yeah so it actually uh, maybe you can you want to correct the translation yeah yeah so so basically, then Yip Mu'adzin Dashta was about there was a Mu'adzin who had a very terrible voice, yeah. uh, who who lived in he lived in an, an, a land of non-Muslims, um, and he he was uh, reading the call to prayer in in the land of you know, the Prophet Hassan in the land of non-Muslims. Yeah, Daru Kufr, yeah. Daru Kufr, yeah. yeah. And since here his his voice was very ugly. Yeah, very harsh, very ugly, right? He was calling the Adhan. And they told him, they advised him, stop calling the Adhan. <laughs> they told, they, the, the Muslims told him, the Muslims, the Muslims said, please stop calling the Adhan before there's war and uh, there's uh, enmity towards us. Okay. Huh? Yeah, and, and so it, I was reading some commentaries about it. Um, it, it, they even were. They didn't. They didn't have the heart to tell him, you know, what you have a terrible voice. So, they, so they came up with this excuse that, you know, listen, it's going to result in fighting and acts of hostility <laughs> and war <laughs> against us. Um, so, well, well. And then, okay. So then it says, "U seti zekardo kosh bi etraz gof dar kafristan bange namaz khal kha ifshod zefit ne amei." Khudbiya <laughs> They said to him several times, do not give the call to prayer, otherwise fighting and acts of hostility against us will continue. Yeah, continue reading. So that was the previous one, oh, so yeah, you could read the next two. He, he defied them, and then without showing any caution, he gave the call to prayer in the land of infidels. The Muslims feared a general insurrection, however an infidel came up to them with a robe. Yeah, he uses the word infidel. I want to say a word here, but that's, that's, this is Nicholson. The, re, the translation you're reading is uh, Nicholson, who is an Orientalist. Uh, the word that's used for land, what he's translating as land of infidels is Darul Kufr, which means land of disbelief. 
the land of disbelief. And the word kufr and the word kafir that Rumi uses, it literally means one who covers the truth. That's what the word means. I know that for many, many, many decades we've heard kafir means disbeliever or kafir means infidel. But in Arabic, what the word kafir literally means is someone who covers something. I'm sure many of you have heard that before the Quran was revealed, a kafir was a farmer. Oh. Yes. Because yeah, because you cover the seeds. So the kafir was a farmer. But when Allah, and there's about 500 words like this in the Quran, a lot of these words are agricultural words, words for farming or for, you know, shepherding or, you know, camel herding and, um, or, or words that were, had to do with lineage, like the word karam, right? Uh, Allah gave them a new meaning. Allah gave these words new meanings. And so this word infidel has become very controversial, especially in the West, right? Uh, but the word that Allah uses, it doesn't mean disbeliever, right? Uh, the closest word, and you, we're going to see it as we read, um, I think in this chapter, to disbelief is the word jahud. Jahud literally means to reject something. But what kafir means is to cover something. So the idea is that the person who has not accepted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's oneness, the person who has not accepted the nubuwa, the risala of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the person who has not accepted that there is a day of judgment with a resurrection, that they're covering something up, that they're covering up the truth, that deep down inside there's a recognition in their heart, but they're, de but they're not, they're, they're denying it. Uh, that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so it says, uh, uh, Kafir uh, came up to them with a robe. So this is 3370. So the next one skips to 3372. So I actually went to the Mass to see what 3371 was. And it actually goes into more detail that you know, this person came with gold and all sorts uh -huh. of gifts with them. And, and everybody was, was surprised to see what's going on. Like, who is this person? That so, uh, and then, um, so then, then the, 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 the copier says, for son to Muazzin ku kujas, ke sada ye bainge u ra hat fazas, in chera hat bud as on avaz is zesh. Kipetaj <laughs> Yes. Asking again and again. Tell me where you're going to In the Arabic, it says, makes me so happy. Makes me so happy. This is <laughs> yes. What Mm. Oh, we have, uh, have you read that? No, 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 we haven't read that one. Yeah, so we're just doing two couplets at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, everybody was surprised, like, what you, you get pleasure from this voice, and then so then and the, the person comes and explains why he got pleasure. So he says, Ladidaram, 
وكانت تشتهي الدخول في الإسلام ولم تكن هذه رقبة العارمة تفارق رأسها قط وكم كان ينصحها كثير من الكفار كنت في الآلم والعذاب والنصب والتعذيب فقد كانت تحرك السلسلة نحو الإيمان لحظة بلحظة ولم أكون أعرف حيلة لهذا الأمر حتى تفضل ذلك المؤمن بذلك المؤذن بذلك الأذان Did you read my, my daughter? Did, you, did my daughter said? Fakul, did you read that yet? No. Okay. Okay, Serena. Okay, Akhtabai. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next uh, three thir- th- uh, the, this passion. No, I'm sorry. I have an appealing and highly distinguished daughter. Yeah. I have an appealing and highly distinguished daughter. She desires to be a true believer. This passion would never have her head. Would, would never leave her head. And this passion would never leave her head, even though so many infidels were blessing her. <laughs> okay. هیچ چاره می ندانستم در آن تا فرو خواند این معزن آن از آن گفت دخترش گفت دختر چیست این آواز زشت که چنین نشنیدم اندر کنشت ولم اكون اعرف حيله لهذا الامر حتى تفضل ذلك المؤذن بذلك الاذان فقالت البنت ما هذا الصوت الكريه الكري الذي صق مسام مسمعي صقا شديدا انني لم اسمع قط طوال عمري مثل هذا الصوت القبيح سواء في الديار او في الكنيسه Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't know a remedy for it until the Muslim chanted the Adhan, called to prayer. Then my daughter said, what is this awful name? It irritates my ear. بسم الله فقالت لها أختها هذا هو صوت الأذان إنه إعلان المؤمنين بالإسلام وشعرهم وإشعارهم ولم تصدق فسألت أخرى فسألت أخرى فقالت لها الأخرى أجل هو هذا يا روح أبيك وعندما تأكدت من الأمر أسفر وجه وجهها وجهها وفتر حماس للإسلام في قلبها I, uh, when she became sure of this, I never in all my life have I heard such a harsh voice in this Christian covenant and church. When she became sure of this, her face turned pale and her heart grew cold to Islam. I was delivered from anxiety and torment. Last night I slept sound in a peaceful sleep. This was the pleasure that came to me from his voice in gratitude, I bring these gifts. Where is the man? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so the last one I was back to, I didn't read yet. But oh, okay, sorry. Uh, but actually, it's in, in the, let's see, you notice here, um, in Lubba Lubaba, one of the couplets is gift, it goes from 3370 to 3372. Yes. There's another verse in between in the Masnavi where, where, where his daughter doesn't believe him initially when they say this, is, this comes from, this is the Azan that, that the Muslims read. She's like, no, 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 I don't believe you. And then 
finally they brought other people to like <laughs> multiple witnesses to confirm for her that this is indeed the, the Iran. So um باز رستم من ز تشبیش و عذاب دوش خوش خفتم در آن بی خوف خواب راحتم این بود از آواز او هدیا بردم به شکر آن مرد کو um, So this is uh, the verse of the couple of the recommended just read about how he said that um, finally was uh, rescued from that adab <laughs> torment and torture and finally he was able to, to, to sleep uh, comfortably again with peace at night and how um, it was that sound <laughs> that, uh, that, that, uh, that sound that, that he was uh, that he was singing and reading that, that resulted in this and so to thank him I, I, I brought him I brought him a gift so hmm. where is he uh, so then Uh, the next, I'll read the next two couplets. Hast iman shama zarg o majaz, rah zan ham chon ke an bang namaz. Leek az iman o sedr ba yazid, chan hasrat dar dil, chan hasrat dar dil o janam resid. Kala majusi. وإيمانكم هذا هو احتيال وظيف ومجاز وهو قاطع للطريق مثل ذلك الأذان لكن من من إيمان أبي يزيد وصدقه أصيب قلبي وأصيبت روحي بالحسرات نعم يا تهابا بليس Th- 3389 The faith of you Muslims is hypocrisy and falsehood like that called to the will is the seeker and prevention from embracing the plan but many regrets have come into my heart and soul from my admiration for the faith and sincerity of the religious Uh, so, thank you. So waylays the seeker uh, in the Arabic. I don't know about the Farsi, but the word he uses is the word for a, a, a highway bandit who's going to ambush. They used to ambush the caravans. <laughs> so he's saying the, 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 the way that Muslims, many Muslims practice Islam, they, they ambush. They're like highway bandits for people who are really seeking God. Mm-hmm. People who are really seeking religion. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I just wanted to make a comment on, on Nicholson's uh, translation. So over here he says, the faith of you Muslims is hypocrisy and falsehood. So, so the way that Molana Rumi describes it, he says, Has iman shamal zarho majaz. Majaz means virtual. Um, zarho means uh, like... Uh, It's more for display. Yeah, yeah. Saying that's that's what your faith is. So he didn't. So faith and hypocrisy is not. not exactly. Yeah, the same thing in the Arabic. Same thing. Yeah. So in the Arabic, uh, the Sheikh translates it as ihtial, which means trickery, mm-hmm. tricks. Hila is like a, you know, deception. Yeah, and zif is like what you just said. Zif is adornment. Yeah. You know, and and then majaz. It's it's metaphorical faith. It's not real. Yeah, yeah it's not real. So 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 then the, the other one is late as in normal steps of all your feet kind of have that that they were doing in your seat. Nicholson translates that as, but many regrets have come into my heart and soul from from my admiration for the faith and sincerity of of all your feet. So. So again, I, I feel like he's, um, he's not really capturing the, the, this word hasrat, you know, chan hasrat mm. in the John and this is hasrat, like one translation of it could be jealousy, but, but, but it, it's more of a broader term of like mm. a burning, a yearning in your heart. Mm. It's like when you really want something that somebody, mm. has, um, but he's translating that as, as regret. It's, um, it also does mean regret. 
but but that's not hmm. uh, I think it doesn't capture the whole word. I mean like in the Quran and Surah Al Yasin you have when Allah says, Ya Hasratan Nala Lebadi someone's no. feeling this <laughs> Why why are husbands like this? Subhanallah. Right? Ma ya tikum uh, Yeah. Yeah, so the other word in the Atikum, uh, no prophet comes to you without you mocking him and turning away from him. Subhanallah. So the word hasrat is, it, it captures much more. Okay, so. Ya hasrata ala ma faratna bin jambillah. Yeah. Subhanallah. On ki iman ya. راه اندر امان کوفت های باقیان شد در گمان آفتاب نظر از ایمان شیخ کو نماید روح ز شرق جان شیخ yeah. well, uh, the, the yeah, I'm not going to read this because he jumps around he skips. Okay, yeah. 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 Do you want me to read the or uh, should we read the English? Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, so he who received the faith entered into security. The infidelity of the rest became a matter on which there were two opinions. If the luminous sun of the Sheikh's faith should display itself from the Orient to the Sheikh's soul, if a single drop of this faith enters into the ocean, the ocean will be submerged in his drop. Mm. A star of divine illumination appeared in Muhammad so that the substance of the beliefs of the Magian and the denier of the truth passed away. Mm. So, so there's also another verse here in the Farsi, interestingly, similar to last time, that, that's not here in the English. And I couldn't find exactly where it is in the Masnavi either. He says, Has iman as iman as So, um, has iman as it means uh, faith is for the sake of parvardigi. Uh, it, 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 I guess the direct translation would mean nurture. So faith is for the sake of nurture. I, and mm. um, maybe to, to describe that a little bit more clearly, like you can, when you think of nurture, or in Farsi, when we say the word parvardigi or parvardesh, you're thinking about like a plant or a flower that mm. you're growing and mm. giving you water and, and you know, the mm. food, and you're making it grow and nurture to get to something beautiful, mm. right? And so it's saying faith is for the sake of nurture. Nis iman as more de gi. So nis iman as te means faith is not for the sake of. Pejmor de gi refers to kind of like decay. Like we say like a flower or a tree is pejmor that when its leaves are falling, mm -hmm. it's coming all, all shriveled up and it's mm. saying, you know, faith is not for the sake of of that. So it's, it's like, you know, describing really two two forms of iman. True iman, mm. which 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 nurtures, which which makes things beautiful and radiant. That it, again, it's this whole theme of if you've got it, <laughs> if you've got it, people are everybody's gonna want it. <laughs> but if, if you don't have it, and if you have this substitute for it, it's 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 gonna have the opposite effect. And I mean, uh, I, you know, I was with Sheikh Mendez and I were discussing uh, you know, the other <laughs> about this and how it's uh, it, it's a funny story, but it's but but it's sad because it's also 
it's a reflection of what we're seeing in our, in our own life today. We, we, we've got a lot of these, you know, metaphorical muslims. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I, we, we have to hope that we're also not. I mean, one of those. Well, the, the story is the story like, you have this muslim, a bit shaved, who has a, you know, ugly voice for the Adhan, but inside he's like two-faced. And he gives the Adhan and it kind of convinces people to you know, go back to the faith or convert to Islam. We, even though the Muslims of the day, they only looked at him from his voice, the surface. And so there is this, all these couplets about how the fact that he has this two-faced is the real, is the, is the way, is the reason why people are actually coming to Islam. And, when they don't have it, people are turning away. No, it's quite the opposite. So this Mu'adhan, uh, he lives in a land of non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. And he has a very harsh, ugly voice. But he insists on calling the Adha. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he starts calling the Adha, and the other Muslims are telling him, don't, please stop. Yeah. And they make up because, as, as Brother Mahdi said, they don't have the heart to tell him his voice is not beautiful. Uh, so they tell him, look, if you don't stop, there's going to be you know, hostility and the people won't like us. And so what happens is a Magian comes asking, who is this Muadna? He's brought me great pleasure, great happiness, and I have gifts, lots of gifts for him. Everyone's puzzled. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Why is this Magian bringing gifts to the Muadhan? And then he starts to explain. He said, I have a daughter who wanted to become Muslim. She was looking for Islam. And I couldn't think of how to, I couldn't think of how to stop her. But now this Muadhan, she heard his voice and the daughter said, this is the most ugly voice I've ever heard. I've never heard a voice like this in the Christian covenant, nor in the church. And at first she can't believe it. Right? Rumi, Maulana Rumi, Ramadan, I said, she can't believe it, that this is Islam, this is a you know, Muslim. And people are like, yes, this is a Muslim voice. And then she doesn't want anything to do with the religion. And so her father now, he can sleep. <laughs> oh, okay, it makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now her father can sleep. Right, and then and then Rumi gives his commentary, saying this the the likeness of this muaddin is the likeness of a Muslim whose religion is just lip service. It's just decoration, you know. But I, I really see that connection between mm. the Muslim wanting to give the Adhan and uh, his religion just being lip service. Wouldn't it? Make the case that if someone has an ugly voice would still give the azar out of you know, love for Islam, that he would say that he has a stronger faith. So you're taking the story literally. Yeah. This is a parable. Okay. I mean, the way I, I look at yeah, it. It's a parable. The way I yeah. look at this is the, the following ways. The way we, you know, we see that the way it's said. Yeah. And I think, in a sense, I accept that we are responsible in some way. We think inside that we are doing the right thing. So the color of the <laughs> And so, from mistakes. So if somebody makes a mistake and betting you, this is not right, this is not right. That's what we went to. Yeah. Somebody think that they have this authority and the way they are presenting, they may be convinced inside, but <laughs> they don't understand that what they are doing, the actions, yeah. to the contrary. It's turning away and we see that already. Not only non-Muslim, even Muslim children, we see that already. Yeah. They stop coming to Muslim because they see the way they've been treated. Yeah. You are not purpose, you can enter. You can come, you can come, you can come. This is this is exactly what is happening. <laughs> so I think if you look at this, how do we transcribe this story? Yeah. That's the way I see. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And and some of them, I mean, we go to the intricate thing, and people think they're convinced that I am the best representative of the Muslim Islam. I need to see your own space. Allah Akbar. Allah, 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 Allah. Yes, yes. I may not be the right person. Yes. But I may have been the right person to present and package this thing. Yes. Because I'm doing this service, because, because of this, people are turning away. Yeah. And this is, this is the method. You're doing more uh, harm than good. Yeah, that makes more Thank you. Thank you, Tariba. Exactly. Thank you. There's even an ayah in the Quran. I don't remember the ayah verbatim, but Allah says it's the, it's the believers 
that should be in, the, I'm paraphrasing the meaning, that is, it's only the mu'minin that should be in the lands of those who are not Muslim. The mu'minin. The mu'minin. Mm. Right, so if you're in America, if you, do you know the ayah? It, it, okay, just one, one moment. So if you're in America or in England and all, all these places that are majority non-Muslim, it's more important for you yeah. to, be, yeah. be, to be realizing and embodying this real, real iman. Yeah. Otherwise, you're doing a disservice to yourself and to your family and to the religion. Yeah, so now. Nah. Yeah. I, I think that the thing, the Adhan that you talked about, yeah. This is our action and our behavior and our attitude that are reflecting, that are being reflected from us onto others. Mm. And they are seeing it clearly what we really are. Mm. Mm. And that is so ugly that they are turning away from us. But we think we are very smart and we are doing very nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, thank you very much. Yeah, the ugly Adhan is a reflection of the ugly ugliness inside. Yeah, that's what you, yeah, thank you. Exactly. Yeah, it's keeping your, you know, me and my wife were talking about this yesterday. Um, you know, it's not directly related, but it's related, right? This issue, you know, we, ha- we you know, I get a lot of calls, right, from sisters who, you know, they did a nikah contract with their husband, and they and their husband, the husband and wife, made an agreement. Uh, in the nikah, it's written down. He signed it, she signed it, the wali signed it, the witnesses signed it, but they're scholars. Scholars, forget the husband. There are scholars who tell the husband, oh, you don't have to follow, you don't have to honor what's in the contract. Oh, wow. Right? Right? Because you're the husband, right? And uh, specifically related to marrying another wife, right? Oh, wow. Right? So now the sister is asking herself, what kind of, this is a Muslim sister. She, she said, we made a contract. He agreed that he wouldn't marry a second wife. And now the, the sheikh, the mufti, the mufti sahab is telling him he doesn't have to honor that. What kind of religion is this? You don't follow your, your a contract. You don't follow your agreements. And this is very real. It's, it's happening. My wife and I were talking about this yesterday because of a situation that we're dealing with, right? You know, the brother just called me right now, actually. <laughs> just now, I told him I, I'm in a class. <laughs> you know, the brother just, you know. So, uh, if the flower does not know its situation, the whole garden knows what it is. Allah Akbar. The whole garden knows, huh? <laughs> That's why community is very important. <laughs> Having sohbat. Because you may not know you have an ugly voice, right? Right? But everyone else can. <laughs> and then you have to be honest with people. Like, you know, they didn't tell him that you have an ugly voice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the character comes down to. Oh yeah. It's such a a character thing. You don't have to say anything. Yeah. You you know, you don't have to say things the way you carry yourself, as they say. (laughs) How you interact, regardless of whether Muslim or non-Muslim, especially in the environment we are in. You know, this character is reflective of. Character is the Allah. Character. That's 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 the. You can say anything you want. You can you can complete the whole book and you can talk about all these things. End of the day, yeah. the way you walked in and walked out and how in fact there are one or two minutes with you, I get the whole picture of who you are. That's exactly what yes. it is. Regardless yeah. of what you have or something, you know, what can require. So I, I think you know, we really, as Muslims, I feel that we have respect. And why I'm afraid of it seriously is that all these uh, efforts we make, you know, all these the pride and, and coming to, you know, with the, they say, you know, you never missed a prayer and you, yeah. and, uh, you, you have all the check marks. Yep. You think that you did your job. That's not what it is. I mean, we're trying to do check marks. <laughs> and of course, left and just checking mark. But I think we're losing the whole essence of the view. Yeah. And Prophet is the greatest example. I mean, how, do you, how do you deal with the worst of situations? 
Mm. Your neighbor must be very, very bad to you. Mm. You know, and people will be very negative to you. Yeah. Whether it's inside or outside, how do you react to that situation? Yeah. That's that's what you some doubt of you. And I think that would be the most effective thing if you can just embody the religion with rather than talking rather than be acting on those things. So if I feel the takeaway for us is important to reflect. To reflect what we say, to reflect what we do. Mm. Because we are carrying a banner of the deen. Even this must itself, people think they are Muslim. So, okay, so what should they, when they walk to this place, what should they be, how we should be behaving, mm-hmm. and how should we be receiving them, regardless of what they think of. Yeah. And if, if we don't have it, then we are missing it. You know, because now we're carrying it, whether you say it or not, you're carrying this label, you're a Muslim. Yeah. yeah. It's a Muslim, you're a Muslim. So now, what does that mean, right? Mm. So now we become more responsible, you're in the palace too. So you, know, you should be more cautious in terms mm. of how, how we even between ourselves. Yeah, they're watching, they're observing. So I mean, when you see these statements mm. flying all over the place, whether it's internet and things, you know, mm. how the Muslim nation among themselves. Yeah. They yeah. yeah. Hey, so one, one country, one community, one, one little place where it's, it's been, a, you know, followed. There must be something wrong. Mm. What is that is wrong? <laughs> I mean, this is a good question. If, if this is so beautiful, what we see and what we read, mm-hmm. why is that implemented? Yeah. Why, what's the, you know, I know, the historical things are absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, what is that we're missing? Yeah. Jazakallah khairan. Alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, so, uh, Mola Hussein, uh, he starts the Lubab, Lubi Lubab, with really talking about the problem. Right? Maulana Rumi doesn't start the Mesnavi like this, right? Uh, you know, he starts with the Mesnavi talking about the longing and the yearning, you know, for the spiritual realm, for the presence of Allah Ta'ala. But what Mullah Hussein is going to do is he's going to answer this issue. He's going to bring a remedy. He's like this is the problem. That and and you know every you know he didn't write this, but he compiled it. He chose the different couplets and arranged them in a certain order uh, to address. I'm sure what was going around him in his time. But as, as you said, Tahir Bai, you know, and um, uh, uh, Sultan Bai, it's very relevant. Right. What he's describing is very relevant. So it may be a little depressing right now. <laughs> it may be a little depressing, right? But you'll see, you know, he'll, he's going to start to tell us through the words of Rumi how to get this iman. And the, the purpose of the book, like if you ha- take the time, just, you know, flip through the PDF uh, to the end. You'll see at the end he talks about Hakul Yaqeen. You know, how to get to Hakul Yaqeen. So the book is very well organized. So he takes you from this is the problem. Now these are the steps you need to take to remedy the problem. And now, alhamdulillah, this is the, this is the final goal, the destination. Uh, and, and mashallah. So that's, 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 that's how, that's, that's the, the outline, inshallah. I think you're right. I think it's not a good question. I think I take it more as a challenge. Yes. It's more of a challenge. When you think of challenge, it's more positive for Yes. I'm not depressed. Did somebody challenge me because, wait, wait a minute, let me get up and see what's wrong with <laughs> yes, you. Yes, yes. And let's do something which is positive. Yes. And that's the action plan. Yes. The action plan will be only when you sink in. You have to sink in that I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> yes. Unless you accept it, the change can never come. Thank you. You must accept first. There is something wrong. Thank you. No depressed. We'll be challenged. Yes. And let's get up. Dust ourselves. I mean. And get down to. I mean. I mean. Ustad Lavan had a comment. Yeah, I, I, I just, I just, 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 just one moment. Um, you know, you, the, the problem, so we, we've had this problem for hundreds of years. And the problem, I think, is that, you know, we have leaders, political leaders, economic leaders, who don't understand this, right? And we have masses that don't hold the leaders accountable. Right. And so when you do, when you have this breakdown in the social contract, it leads to what we see in the Muslim world today, you know, 
and and may Allah help us to change that. Yeah. It's that Levon Brown. Like, I was thinking of you. I was say, where is he? Where is Ustad Levon? We miss you. He said he wrote, he wrote in the chat. It is said by many who have embraced Islam that if their attraction to Islam was the Quran or the life of Muhammad, but if they would have met Muslims first, they would have never become Muslims. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've heard people say that. I, 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 I've heard people say that. Yeah, yeah, I've heard people say that. Yeah, yeah. But Allah guides, you know, guidance is with Allah, you know, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Zakat al khaira. What's that? Eight hundred, eight hundred years ago. Eight hundred years. Yeah, more. Yeah. You're talking about Masnavi, the original. Yeah. But, so I mean, it's, it's interesting that like this, the same issues we're dealing with today, they were dealing with. That's right. That's right. They say more hundred years after the Prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Subhanallah. You know, I mean, I, I don't want to get, you know, p too political, but just but 60, about 60 years, you know, after the Hijrah, Imam al Hussein, Karbala, huh? Radiallahu anhu, you know, he and his family, uh, except the women and Imam Zain al Abidin, you know, Radiallahu an, you know, they're slaughtered. And you know, about, about, I think it was what, 12,000? 12,000 people in Iraq, Kufa? Yeah. They, they pledged allegiance. They said, we're gonna come, we're gonna help you, support you. All of them abandoned him. Yeah. So not even 100 years. And they're too, <laughs> so, the so, so, yeah. yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not somebody just too. Yeah. So, you know, but like, I like what you said, Tahibai, you know, this is the challenge of living in the dunya. This is the challenge. Yeah. It's, it's in, and it's not, this is not a utopia. This is not Jannah. Right? You have to struggle. You have to make mujahada. You have to struggle. You have to, you know, you know, so alhamdulillah, may Allah give us success. I'm very happy, you know, I don't know if you know this, the, 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 the khatat, uh, who decorated the masjid with um, calligraphy? He was from Konya. Oh. Yeah, Sha 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 Shaban Khoja. Yeah, he's from Konya. Yeah, and he was a Hanafi, Hanafi uh, mufti, an Imam, who became a khatat. Oh wow! So he was first a mufti and an Imam, and then he stopped that and he became a calligrapher. <laughs> Turkish mosque in Brooklyn. Ah. And then Kentucky. Yeah. So he's here in New Jersey now? No, no, he just came, he just, he's in Konya now. Oh, okay. Oh, talk wow. to him once in a while. Yeah. When he comes here, he'll come to do like a commissioned work. Wow. But he lives in, but he grew up in Konya. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so Maulana's, you know, hand <laughs> is on the masjid. <laughs> 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 Yeah. That's right. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And when, you know, this month, you know, we've been uh, like with Celebrate Mercy. If you're not, you know, connected with Celebrate Mercy, you just go online. Every night, these first uh, 14 days of Rabi Lawa, they have Shama'il programs and Sira, right? Different scholars, Sheikh Abdul Nasser Janga, Sheikh Aisha Prime, you know, um, Tamara Gray, oh, sorry? I watched a couple of Yeah, very good. Yeah, very nice. You know, they have nasheeds and everything. But you just see how much hardship the Prophet dealt with. Really, we're not going through anything. 
yeah, yeah. I mean, the Prophet Sallallahu <laughs> he went through so much hardship. Yeah. SubhanAllah. And yet we, we believe and we feel that why it's not happening. Yeah. And then, you know, we're living in the we're living in a full paradise. Yes. Yeah. And yet we complain, how is that happening? Yeah. Two billion people, the whole, what's, why is it wrong? What's wrong with people? People are questioning people. What's wrong with people? Yeah. And we don't accept it. And we, are, we are putting on our side. That's the irony of the whole thing. Uh-huh. We're still not getting it. We think that the world is against us, uh, it, our enemy. No. We're not reflecting what's yeah. wrong with us. Uh-huh. You know, and, and with all this hardship, he was always smiling. Huh? He was always confident in the victory and the help of Allah yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala. He never complained. Everything, all, everything that happened, he never complained. Even Imam Hussein, and he, he's, he knows he's going to be martyred, right? Yeah, but he's, he's, his heart is with Allah Ta'ala. And he's looking at the people who are fighting him with pity. With pity. You know? So. And because Prophet Muhammad, so, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because he had it, right? What we're talking about. He was able to make the Donald Trumps of his Yeah, exactly. Trump. Exactly. Exactly. When you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. On the other side, they were yeah, so rich, so powerful. exactly. The Jeff Bezos. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're right. Yeah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakwa khayr. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adhaba nar. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam. Oh Allah, we pray for our brother Zakir Khan. Oh Allah, we ask that you protect him, ya Allah, from illness, protect his family. Ya Rabbil Alameen and, and his loved ones and those connected with him. We ask for healing, ya, ya Allah, for uh, us, our families, for this country, for humanity. Oh Allah, we ask for peace and for prosperity and for justice. Uh, in the upcoming election, Ya Allah. We ask, Ya Allah, that there be peace in this land, Ya Allah. We ask for peace in this land, Ya Allah. We ask for peaceful transition, Ya Allah. And we ask that you place in authority one who has fear of you, Ya Allah, and one who is compassionate and merciful with your creatures, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallallahu wa sallam. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. وسلاما على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله